Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever time of day it is and whatever part of the world you're at. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another uh, short lesson. Today we're going to discuss multiplying and dividing integers, okay? And to help us remember the rules, I'm going to be using a tic-tac-toe board, okay? The way to set the tic-tac-toe board up is to always remember to put your positive signs, your plus signs down a diagonal. Um, so you see there's two different ways to accomplish that. Now let's take a look at example A so I can teach you how to read the tic-tac-toe board, okay? I circled the first row. You read that as a positive times a negative is a negative. Or if you're dividing, you say a positive divided by a negative is a negative. So I have a, three examples there. We're going to take a look at those. First one is five a positive 5 times negative 3. Once again, a positive times a negative is a negative. So that's going to be negative. Oops. It's going to be give us negative 15. Po uh, positive 27 divided by negative 9 is going to give us negative 3. And a positive 24 divided by negative 6, as shown in the fraction, is going to give us negative 4. Okay? So once again, a positive divided by a negative is a negative. Now, in example B, I circled the vertical column, which we could read that as a negative times a negative is a positive, or we could say a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Okay. And one thing I forgot to mention is that when you use a tic-tac-toe board, you can read it left to right, right to left, vertically or horizontally. You're still going to get the correct um answer for your the correct sign of the product or quotient and what you're looking for. So let's take a look at these examples. We have uh, when you only use parentheses, that means times or multiplication. So we have negative two times negative three and a negative times a negative is a positive. So that's going to give us positive six. And then we have a negative 15 divided by a negative five, which is going to give us a positive three. OK. Um, Example C shows that I, I circled the, the diagonal with all the plus signs. Once again, that's, you just read that as a positive times a positive is a positive, or you can say a positive divided by a positive is a positive. I didn't put any examples for those because those are just your basic multiplication and division facts. And now example D. I circled that middle row. That middle row, you could read that as a negative times a positive is a negative or a negative divided by a positive is a negative. So if we take a look at those examples here, we have negative 4 times positive 8. That's going to give us negative 32. And then we have negative 144 divided by positive 12 as shown in the fraction. That's going to give us negative 12. And if you look at this last one here, it says negative 48 divided by positive 16. Once again, the signs are different, so this, that's going to give us a negative 3, okay? Now, some rules that uh, you want to remember about multiplying and dividing with 0, okay? 0 times any number is 0, okay? So 5 times 0, that's 0. Oops. There's my, there we go. And, and 0 times negative 7 is also 0, okay? Now, you can, 0 divided by any number is 0. So, which means that you can have 0 as the numerator. So, 0 divided by 3 is 0. 0 divided by 4 is shown in the fraction is 0. Now, what you cannot do, you cannot, you cannot divide by 0, so dividing by zero is said to be undefined. That's always going to be the answer. So if you have a fraction where zero is the denominator, the answer is undefined. When you just are dividing by zero, okay, this answer is going to be undefined. All right. So that's something that sometimes people get confused. You, zero can be the numerator, but zero cannot be the denominator. Zero can be divided by anything, which is going to be equal to zero, but you cannot divide by zero. Okay, just want to emphasize that. So right now, this is the try these section. You can pause the video and then resume once you have your answers. I'm just going to go ahead and jump on in. So uh, negative four times negative three and negative times a negative is a positive. So that's going to equal positive 12. 
Um, number two, negative two times positive 10, that's going to equal negative 20, okay? Uh, number three, positive two times negative eight is going to be negative 16. Number four, negative nine times negative two, that's going to equal positive 18. Number five, negative 24 divided by positive three, that's going to equal negative eight. Number six, zero divided by negative 11. That's possible. That's going to just equal zero, okay? A negative eight divided by a negative four. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, so that's going to be positive two. And 42 divided by zero. Remember, you cannot divide by zero. Zero cannot be in the denominator, so this answer would be undefined. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that'll conclude this little short lesson. I'm going to holler at you guys later. Deuces.